In lesson 9.4, solving surface area problems, we're going to continue our work on our standard 7.G6, working with areas and so forth. Our essential question then is, how can you find the surface area of a figure made up of cubes and prisms? So in our first activity, we're going to, we're going to work on modeling surface areas of a prism. So I'd like to go back in and talk about the perspectives of a rectangular prism or an object that I was talking about in trying to develop your mind's eye when you're envisioning uh, what an object looks like. And in engineering what we do is we look at the object from six sides. So I've drawn a prism here with the six sides. So I have a front, okay, that's looking right at uh, if you're standing in front in there. And of course with the front there's a back. You have a top, you have a bottom, and then you have a right-hand side and you have a left-hand side. So to relate that to surface area, what we have to do is identify what our dimensions are going to be. So I have our prism here again, and across the front I have this, I've labeled this as my length, or L. The going up and down is my height, which is H, and then the depth is called width and that is W. So they tell us here the surface area of a three-dimensional figure is the sum of all the areas of all its surfaces. So what they've done here is they've taken this prism and they've broken it up and what this is what we call a net where we look at each of the individual six sides. We go from a 3D object to a 2D object where we flatten it out and that's called a net. So here's the one of our sides. This would be our front. This would be the other side. This would be the back. So like this one right here, that's our front. Okay, so that's this guy. Obviously, we have the back on the back side. So then this is probably going to be our right. This is going to be our left side. So looking, there's our right. There's our left. And of course, you have your top, which would be this one. And then you have your bottom, which is this one here. So what we're going to do is I want to show you a little bit different way than what they show us in the book here. I think it's a little bit easier for you to get. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to look at getting the surface area for each side. To get the surface area for a rectangular prism, we're going to go ahead and use this little formula here that we have. And basically what we do is we're going to take the length times the width, and we're going to multiply that by 2. The 2 represents the top and bottom. You have two sides. And then these are our dimensions. Then you're going to do the same thing for the front and the back. That's the 2. So that's the length times the height. And then you're going to take the width times the height and you're going to multiply that by 2. And that represents your left and right sides. So if we go take a look at an example from the book, this is the uh, from the Explorer activity. This is the rectangular prism. I've drawn in the dimensions. I have a length of 15 millimeters across the front. I have a width of 8 millimeters. And then I have a height of 20 millimeters. So I've taken my formula, 2 times length times width, plus 2 times length times height, plus 2 times width times height. I've substituted in the appropriate numbers. So this is my length. This is my width. This is my length, this is my height, and this is my width, and this is my height. So I've made that substitution. And now, just go ahead and do the math. So 15 times 8 is 120, so 2 times 120. Put parentheses around that to, to group that, okay? So like, I'm going to group this. Plus 2, 15 times 20 is 300, and I'm going to group that, plus 2 and then 8 times 20 is 160, so times 160. Now I go ahead and I finish this up. So 2 times 120 is 240, plus 2 times 300 is 600, plus 2 times 160 is 320, and I add all of those together. When I add the 240 plus 600 plus 320, that equals 1,160 millimeters squared because we're dealing in the surface area. For ease of calculation, I dropped out my units, okay, but you have to remember we're actually taking millimeters 
times millimeters, and that's going to equal millimeters squared. And we've discussed that before. In example one, I've redrawn the picture here. And we're, again, we're going to look for how many square inches are on the total surface areas. Okay, so remember, we can only see three surface areas. We can see the top, we can see the front, and we can see the right-hand side. What we can't see is we can't see the back, we cannot see the left, and we cannot see the bottom. These are dimension lines here. And what this means is that I'm going to go right up to from this line here to this line here. And that's going to be my 12 inches, okay? And then I do the same thing over here. This is the architectural engineering uh, technique that, we, that I use because that's what I was trained in. So that way it's very clear on where my dimensions are, okay? So we're going to remember our formula, length times width. So 2 times length times width. So 12 times 15 plus 2 times my length times my height, so 12 times 6, plus 2 times my width times my height, so 15 times 6. You go ahead and do the calculations, pretty straightforward. Remember, do what's inside parentheses first. Then you're going to do 2 times that value. You're going to add them all up, and then you're going to get your answer. And remember that your answer should be in inches Square. So here's example one. I just showed you that uh, on the previous uh, screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this up. What you have to ask yourself is, what, what do I see here? What are my shapes? So I see a rectangle, and then I see a, a triangle. What's unique about a triangle is that, and I've shown you this before, is I can take this side, since it's basically a mirror image of this here, I can take this side and I can flip it on top of this. And if you're looking at it from a side view, so let's say the front perspective, this is the triangle on this side, and I actually have this guy here. So when I take a look, the fact that I have this rectangular prism, okay, so I'm going to have a bottom, I'm going to have my right side, I have my top, I'm sorry, my front, I have the left side and I have the back side. So this is a little bit different because the roof is covering my top. So I'm not going to look for the uh, top, the surface area of the top. So to make it easy, what I do is I follow this formula for my rectangular prism, except what I have to do is I'm going to have to subtract out, I'm going to subtract out my top surface area. So you're going to just do, so your top then is going to be, you're going to subtract out whatever the length times the width. So if you solve all of this here, and then you go ahead and you subtract out this piece here, that will tell you what your surface area is for your rectangular prism, because you don't have the roof that you have or the top. But we do have to take into account the triangles. The, the triangular prism that we have here. So what we do is, is that we take this and we figure that surface area out. So we know that the length here is 17 centimeters and we know that this here, this uh, width is 24. So we take 17 times 24 and we have two of those. So we're going to multiply that by two. And then we have to do the front, okay? So we have these pieces right here. So if we remember, I showed you that if these two are equal in size, which they are, then I can take those triangles and I can flip this on top. So then I actually have a rectangular prism, okay? So this is the one on the right, this is the one on the left. And then I just simply have length times my width or height okay so they tell us that this is eight centimeters going up and down and we know that the overall length is 30 centimeters so half of 30 centimeters is 15 so this is 15 centimeters so then I do my math I do my 8 times 15 so that's 100 
and 20 centimeters. And then I have two sides. I have my front and my back. So then I have to multiply that by two. So then I have 240 centimeters squared. So I take this answer. I take this answer. That's my roof. Those are my two sides here and here. I have my front and my back. And then I take my total surface area that you calculated back here that we did. We did the total surface area. We subtracted out the top. And you add all those together. And then you're going to find your total surface area. And I abbreviate SA for surface area for the birdhouse. Here in the your turn, we're again looking for the surface area of the part that you're going to stain. So it's pretty much the same thing. You have two rectangular prisms. Okay, so you have this one and this one. You already know that you have two times length times width plus two times length times height plus two times width times height. So label your pieces, okay? So uh, this is going to be my length, this is going to be my height, and here's my width. And then for the second one, you have the same thing. Length, this is your width, and then this is your height. So you have to do this equation twice. But there's something that's unique that's going on right here in that surface you're not going to stain that surface. So what you need to do is you need to subtract out the bottom for here, and you need to subtract out the top portion, not the all of the top portion, but the equivalent. So really you got to subtract this out of this rectangular prism twice because you're not going to stain that. So you guys can go ahead and do that calculations, and we can talk about that in class. So here in the guided practice we have a triangular prism so a little bit different uh, but what we do is we we have the one side we have the other side and of course you have this side that you're looking at so there's three sides but it looks like they're all a little bit different because this is a, a length of eight feet okay and this one is only five and you have a height of seven so let's see here so you're going to have to treat each side by itself. Now it does appear that this side here and this side here are the same. So we can see that this is 5 feet and then this is 7. So we can do 5 times 7 and we're going to multiply that by 2 because we have this side and this side. And then we're going to have to add, we got this front panel here. So that's 8 times 7. Okay, so we have that. Now we have to do the ends. Now the ends do look like they're the same. So if you remember the surface area or the area for a triangle, okay, was 1 half times your length times width. So we have 8 going this way and then we have this three feet and then it's going to be one half of that so we find that answer and then we multiply by two because we have two sides so you're going to take whatever this is so i'm going to call that x at this point and then you're going to add x so you have the two panels you have the uh, bottom panel so there's three and then this is this is for here so you add all those up and then you're going to find the surface area of that triangle this is very similar to the your turn so if you follow that example you can go ahead and figure out uh, the same dimensions there okay so don't worry about this information use the formulas that i was just showing you through the video or what we go over in class they'll be the same formulas that we talked about hope this all helps you out and have a good day